Okay, I've been meaning to post this for a while and I just haven't gotten around to it and uh, having a lazy day since it's kind of nasty outside, so thought I would get to it. But this is my air compressor that I bought at Harbor Freight. I know a lot of people ask about it and they're, you know, wondering what it looks like. Well, this is what it looks like. It is the uh, brand is Central Pneumatic Oilless Airbrush Compressor. I bought this at uh, Harbor Freight. It was on sale, I think, for $69 and 99 cents. It comes with the uh, air trap here. Uh, it comes with the pressure regulator here and uh, does come with this hose. This is the curly hose. Uh, this one actually came with my airbrush. This uh, air trap or moisture trap, whatever you want to call it, uh, came with my airbrush. So that this is not part of it and this is the quick disconnect that came with the, that I bought separately. So these two don't come with it, but everything else you see does come with it. And on the box it says um, 40 PSI, I believe, but uh, it doesn't actually get that high. At least I can't make mine go that high. I think the highest I can get it is 35 PSI, so um, you're probably not going to be able to shoot th the thicker paints, um, so you'd have to thin with this. I haven't had any problems really. I've been... Um, I've been spraying about 20 PSI and uh, with the Vallejo Air and that's what I've seemed to be gravitating towards. I liked it. I tried the Wicked Colors but the color I bought came out way too bright for what I was looking for. Um, I also decanted a can of um, uh, Go Mango from Model Master and that was what I did with my 71 Cuda with which came out nice. I didn't really do anything. I just decanted it and put I think two drops of uh, thinner in there just because I wanted to have some thinner um, uh, in it, um, so that's what I did. But this is the this is the um, air compressor that I bought for seventy dollars, and I'm gonna turn it on here real quick so you guys can hear it. I don't think it's that loud, especially when it's under my desk and I'm airbrushing. But uh, that's what it sounds like, and it's an automatic on/off, so it'll turn off automatically when it's not when it's not on. Let me hook up my airbrush here. So I'm going to hook up the airbrush so you can kind of see it. Here it is. And so it turns on and you can hear it. And this is actually set at 30. You can turn it down right here. And it dropped to 20. But uh, I don't think it's that loud. And especially when it's under the desk, man, you can't really hear it. And then it'll turn off. But uh, so that's a great future. And so when it's under the desk, let me throw it down there. And uh, so, you know, here it is. It's under my desk. And, you know, I just sit here. This is what I do. And so I think it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good for especially not a lot of money. I know some of the Iwata stuff goes up to, you know, a couple hundred. And then you can go up from there. But uh, this was a cheap alternative for me for right now. So I can uh, save up some bones for a good compressor. Um, look at one that's probably can spray a little bit better, but for right now, since like I said, I'm I'm still really new and I'm experimenting with a lot of stuff. This is perfect for me. But uh, I just wanted to post that because I know a lot of people would ask questions about Harbor Freight and how it's been and um, different things like that. But I really like this compressor, and like I said, for 70 bucks, 69 dollars. I mean, give it a shot. And um, but that's that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, go ahead and put a comment below. And uh, go ahead, like, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Thank you.